frontiers of ice, pioneering the colonization of Titan. Titan, the mysterious moon of Saturn, presents an exciting possibility for future human colonization. Its dense atmosphere, hydrocarbon lakes, and unique chemistry both fascinate and challenge our imagination. The prospect of establishing a colony on Titan is of great interest to humanity as we search for life beyond Earth. Stay tuned as we explore potential paths that could open the door to colonizing this distant moon. Titan is a unique celestial body known for its fascinating chemistry and unusual features. It has been the subject of extensive scientific research, attracting the interest of astronomers and space adventurers alike. One of Titan's most notable characteristics is its dense atmosphere, which is predominantly composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and other hydrocarbons. In fact, Titan is the only moon in our solar system that has a significant atmosphere. Due to this thick layer of gas, the atmospheric pressure on Titan's surface is roughly 50% higher than that on Earth, similar to the pressure at the bottom of our seas. Titan's atmospheric characteristics are the source of many interesting phenomena. Methane, which is widely distributed in the atmosphere, reacts chemically with sunlight to form various organic molecules. As a result, scientists are now studying Titan as a possible laboratory for prebiotic chemistry and the beginnings of life. However, Direct observation of Titan's surface is challenging due to the heavy layer of methane and nitrogen that covers it. To overcome this, the Huygens probe was deployed in 2005 as part of the Cassini-Huygens mission. This is the European Space Operations Center in Darmstadt, Germany. And in those buildings there, scientists are busy analyzing all the images and data from the Huygens probe to Titan. This is just day one of a job that's going to take them years. How did they get the information? Well, the Cassini-Huygens mission was one of the most ambitious space explorations ever launched. The probe's photos revealed a terrain consisting of large plains, mountains, and rivers filled with liquid hydrocarbons such as ethane and methane. In addition to its unique atmosphere and surface features, Titan has a wide range of geological characteristics. There have been reports of cryovolcanoes or icy volcanoes on its surface that erupt a mixture of water and ammonia instead of molten rock. We have cryovolcanism, that is, very cold volcanism. And uh, the uh, material inside this body, is the, quotes magma, is not molten rock, is actually a watery mixture. These cryovolcanoes influence the intricate interactions between the moon's surface and subsurface processes, sculpting the moon's surface. However, Titan's extremely low temperatures which average about minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 179 degrees Celsius, pose significant challenges to human exploration and colonization. 19. If you were unfortunate enough to be standing next to a cryovolcano as erupted, you wouldn't be incinerated by molten rock. You'd be frozen into a block of ice. To understand Titan's specific chemistry and physical processes, scientists conduct computer simulations and laboratory tests, which assist in the development of life support systems technology, and knowledge of the difficulties involved in long-term missions and future colonization activities. Despite these challenges, Titan remains a desirable target for manned missions and colonization initiatives in the future due to the existence of organic molecules and possible resources like water ice and liquid hydrocarbons. Research on Titan continues to provide important new information about the chemistry, geology, and potential habitability of other planets. NASA's Dragonfly Project which is scheduled to launch in 2027, aims to send a rotorcraft lander to Titan. I am proud to announce that our next New Frontiers mission, Dragonfly, will explore Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Dragonfly will investigate several sites on Titan's surface to learn more about its chemical composition and potential for habitability, providing valuable information for future space endeavors. It is essential to remember that space exploration is a dynamic field and new projects and missions may arise in the future. As space technology develops, research on Titan and other celestial bodies will continue to increase our knowledge and offer valuable information for potential colonization projects in the future. Clouds and haze completely hide the surface of Titan, Saturn's giant moon. Titan reminds me a little bit of home. Like Earth, it has an atmosphere that's mostly nitrogen, but it's four times denser. Titan's air has no oxygen at all. It's far colder than anywhere on Earth. 
Still, I want to go there. Although it has an interesting environment, it is not suitable for human colonization due to its harsh climate. However, with the advancement of technology and space exploration, it may be possible to colonize Titan in the future. Before starting a colony on Titan, it is essential to consider several factors, such as life support systems, energy generation, habitat construction, infrastructure development, resource availability, sustainable food production, and robotics. The creation of robust life support systems is the most crucial requirement for colonization. These systems should provide a breathable environment, protection from the extreme cold, and a steady supply of food, water, and other necessities for the colonists. Energy generation is another determining factor, as Titan receives barely 1% of the sunlight that reaches Earth. Thus, alternate energy sources like nuclear power or advanced solar technologies would be necessary. Habitats on Titan's surface should be able to withstand the intense cold and pressure and support long-term human settlement while offering warmth and radiation shielding. To make the colony functional, the required infrastructure including transportation networks, power generation facilities, and communications networks must be built. Titan has abundant resources that could be used to support a colony, such as methane and other hydrocarbons as a fuel and energy source, and water ice as a raw material for other operations. Just like on Earth. But with one big difference. On Titan, the seas and the rain are made not of water, but of methane and ethane. On Earth, those molecules form natural gas. Sustainable food production techniques like hydroponics or advanced greenhouse technology would need to be developed for long-term colonization, overcoming the challenges of Titan's intense cold and low light levels. Humans would have to adapt to Titan's environment by creating homes or protective suits to guard against the atmosphere's toxicity, radiation, and extreme cold. Automation and robotics would be essential for the colony's upkeep and functioning, given the great distances between Titan and Earth and communication delays. Advanced robotic systems could assist in building, resource extraction, and scientific research. It is important to remember that colonizing Titan would be a challenging and time-consuming process, requiring significant developments in infrastructure, technology, and knowledge. Comprehensive robotic missions and scientific studies are required to obtain precise information on Titan's ecology and resources before any colonization efforts can begin. Overall, colonizing Titan is an exciting and daring objective for humanity pushing the limits of our research and deepening our understanding of livable worlds beyond Earth. To colonize Titan, we need to build robust life support systems, energy generating technology, and shelters that can withstand the planet's intense cold and atmospheric pressure. We need to harness methane and water ice resources and explore innovative ways to produce food in an inhospitable environment. To adapt and protect ourselves, we must develop unique dwellings or costumes to defend against radiation and the elements. Robotics and automation are crucial for resource extraction, construction, and scientific research, bridging the vast distances and communication gaps between Titan and Earth. However, colonizing Titan is a long-term project that requires extensive investigation and study before any human presence can be established. Robotic missions will pave the way, providing vital information about Titan's environment and its ability to support life. The colonization of Titan showcases humanity's constant spirit of discovery and our unending quest for knowledge as we look to the future. It is a massive project that transcends Earth's boundaries, with the potential to change our perceptions of habitable worlds and expand our horizons. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. We'd also love to know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.